Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. I just finished preparing my client for asylum interview on Friday. I um, work with a nonprofit organization here as a pro bono lawyer. And with this organization, I was able to um, help many children from different countries, like from South America, from Ukraine, from Afghanistan. And I really love doing this. So I'm sorry for my voice because it's very cold. We're negative 11 right now here in Colorado. And uh, we were just gonna stay here at home, but yung hearing ko is on the 23rd Friday. And we had a few inches of snow and it's really a very early hearing, 7.30. So I told my husband, I think it's better for us to just, you know, get a hotel near Denver Asylum Office, so we're not rushing the morning. Um, but I just prepared my client. She's a child from Afghanistan, and she was able to escape uh, when the Taliban took over. And, um, and on Friday, uh, we're going to do her interview. So I want to share with you our journey to that interview. Of course, I will not be sharing private information and identity of my client, but at least I want to share with you the process as well as some challenges <laughs> now I'm in here in Colorado, especially for me because I'm not used to the cold weather. What do you need to do to prepare for an asylum hearing? Okay, who's up on immigration? Because tomorrow is uh, an asylum interview for my client. Actually, this girl, um, you know, her case is really, really sad because when the Taliban took over Afghanistan, she was the only one who was able to escape. Young parents niya were left behind, they weren't able to leave because her dad was so sick and um, so I submitted the asylum application um, I got the it was referred to me by the nonprofit here in Colorado and uh, I submitted it and you know I'm glad that we got the, the hearing now the interview actually it's an interview and so before I go to Spain, before we leave, I can get this done. After this, the immigration officer will make a decision whether to grant this case, the, uh, the asylum or not. I don't see any reason why this asylum application will be denied. So I'm very, very positive. It no. won't be denied. It will be and I'm so, I'm so maswerte because Randy's off tomorrow. So he's able to drive me to, <laughs> I'm the, to the interview. <laughs> so in 10 cases or I, three cases would be uh, volunteer pro bono work. And I usually work with minors. So itong non-profit organization, the Rocky Mountain Immigrant Advocacy Network, I was able to help children Juvenile, special immigrant juvenile status, asylum, mga victims. Um, kaya masaya ako to work with them. And I think for the year 2023, I will be helping the Catholic charities naman here in El Paso County. So yun, um, masaya ako. It's very fulfilling. Of course, I cannot do 100% pro bono. I have to make a living, so about 70% uh, are paying clients. And awa naman ng Diyos, uh, binibigyan talaga ako ng mga mababait na clients. Uh, and so, you know, I'm very happy. I'm the driver. Did you see that? Did you just see that? <laughs> it's okay, cause uh, he's really my driver. <laughs> No, I don't go to courts anymore. Maybe five years ago, I decided na, you know, what I want to do is just uh, administrative filing. And I choose my cases. 
hindi ayoko nang masyadong unlike when I was you know younger that I can handle all types of cases ngayon I choose my cases and I want to have time also to do my work as a, as an artist as a sculptor and then also to have time to travel and spend time with my family kaya pinipili ko yung mga I'm the family <laughs> Sira, hindi makulit talaga siya. <laughs> wala namang editing to eh, so let it be. Hindi <laughs> ko in-edit. <laughs> Just let it be. Because anyway, he's driving for me. <laughs> let it be. I don't want to drive on this snowy road. <laughs> Four minutes to the hotel. Yeah. I just want to eat and look at my case notes and then sleep. And the hotel is seven minutes away from the asylum office. So the we have to be there at 7 a.m. tomorrow. So that means we have to leave around 6.30, maybe 6.15 to make sure that you know, we're gonna get there in time. Yeah. We're at the Denver field office for USCIS, but due to the snowstorm, it is closed. So here we see our attorney talking with her interpreter and her client, letting them know that we need to go and it will be rescheduled. I guess I'm a little bit disappointed because I just want to finish and complete the case and I want her to get her asylum already. But I understand that things like this, you know, it's beyond our control. And uh, and so, you know, um, it's nobody's fault. 